Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third boy. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third boy. In today's video, we will talk about the integration by parts. Last time, may mga videos tayo with regards to the basic integration and meron tayong videos with regards to the integration by substitution. So, ang target ko ngayon is to clarify and to show you the step-by-step -step process on how to do integration by parts. So, abangan nyo yung, this, this will be the part 1 at magkakaroon pa tayo ng part 2 where in sa part 2 natin, I will showcase some difficult problems with regards to integration by parts. So, without further ado, let's do this topic. So, basically guys, when you, you will be asked about the integral of u dv, yung formula natin, yung format natin is simply uv minus the integral of v d u but the problem here to start with this kind of process integration by parts ay kung paano pa piliin yung letter u anong function yung i-represent natin by letter u that's why meron tayong tinatawag na liyate wherein this will be our guide na kung saan ito yung gagamitin natin guide para piliin natin which function is to be represented by letter u so let's say for example Ito mo na, what is liyate? L stands for logarithmic. I stands for the inverse trigonometric. A is for the algebraic. T is for the trigonometric. Letter E is for the exponential. So, sir, ano pong pinagamit ang liyate? Let's say for example, sa isang given integration, uh, yung functions mo ay logarithmic and algebraic. So you will encounter two functions in a given situation. Again, logarithmic and algebraic. So ang tanong dito, sir, what will I choose to be represented by letter U between the logarithmic and algebraic? So ang gagamitin mo yung liyate, kung mapansin mo, nauna si A or si logarithmic before si algebraic. Therefore, you will be representing the logarithmic function into letter U. So I have your example number one, wherein we have the integral of x sine x dx. Ngayon, we will apply lihate para mas madali natin maintindihan which function is to be represented by letter u. Itong x natin, this is algebraic. And itong sine x natin is trigonometric. So based on lihate, as you can see, a, known as a before c, t. Or I mean, known as trigonometric before c, I know na si algebraic before si trigonometric. Okay, so ang gagawin natin ngayon dito is that we will represent x as u. So x yung u natin. And then, yung sine x dx natin, this will be your dv. Sine x dx. So now guys, anong gagawin natin ngayon? As you can see, sa formula natin, we have the formula that we have uv minus the integral of v du, wherein kulang pa tayo ng v at ng du. That's why we need to get the derivative of x. The derivative of x, which is du, that is equal to dx. Again, that is equal to dx. By the way, guys, uh, in doing integration by parts, it is important for you to, to be well versed in getting the differential and the integral of a function. Kailangan marunong kayo kasi kapag doon pa lang nag-fail na kayo, mahihirapan na kayo sa pasikot-sikot ng integration by parts. Next natin is to get the integral of this. Kung natin integral ng dv at nito. The integral of dv is v. So the integral of sine sin x is simply negative cosine x. So as you can see, we can use this formula na because we, we, meron na tayong du saka meron na tayong v. Okay? So follow na natin to. We have here the integral of x sin x sin x dx wherein ang u natin is x ang v natin is negative cos sine x minus, you see the formula, minus the integral of your v, again, v, v 
your D is negative cosine x. Tapos, ang iyong DU is DX. So, to calculate for this, kaya na natin, simplify muna natin. We have the integral of x, sine x DX, is equal to x times negative cosine x. That will be negative cosine x. And as for this, as you can see, meron tayong negative sine. We can multiply this sign, and it will become plus the integral of cosine x and then dx. So, integral of cosine x natin is simply lang naman natin for our formula, we have negative cosine x negative x cosine x plus ang integral ng cosine natin is sine x. Tapos, syempre, nagkuha tayo integral to, uh, hindi nyo kailangan uh, hindi, important thing, hindi nyo makalimutan ang inyong arbitrary constant which is yung ating plus c. That's why yung ating integral of x sine x dx is equal to negative x cosine x plus sine x plus c. Ito yung unang part yung sagot sa first example natin with regards to integration by parts. In the next part of our video, I'll be giving another examples para mas lala nyo itindihan on how to do the process of integration by parts. Now, for our next example, we have here the integral of x e raised to x dx. So, this one is algebraic and this one is exponential. So, remember ding liyate. When you say a, that is algebraic, and E is for exponential. Ang nanguna sa atin dito si yung letter A. That's why we will prioritize X. Your X is your U. So let U be equal to X. And yung ating DV is equal to E raised to X DX. And para makompleto natin, magpagamit natin yung formula, we need to find DU sa yung ating V. That's why we need to get the derivative of X. That's, the derivative of X is simply DX. Now, the integral of this is V is equal to E raised to X. And following this formula, again, following this formula, we can perform that. So, dito natin lagay yung ating solution. So, the integral of x e raised to x dx is simply u which is x and your v which is e raised to x minus the integral of your v which is e x kaya ba ako? e x e raised to x tapos yung ating d u which is dx so, medyo madali lang itong example na to. So, gawin natin dito. Uh, another reason pala bakit ko kinokopya yung, ano, yung given sa every part ng ating solution. Kasi ito yung tinuro sa akin ng aking, ano, na aking professor dati na kapag kumukuha ang derivative, much better na nilalagay mo yung given sa left side ng inyong equation. And then, this will be e raised, x raised to e raised to x minus the integral of e raised to x dx that is e raised to x and then we will have here plus c o yung makalimutan ang inyong arbitrary constant this is the answer for item number 2 so we will have the third example with regards to integration by parts in the next part of our video for item number 3 guys we have here the integral of x squared ln x dx we're in itong x squared natin is algebraic again algebraic itong ln x natin is logarithmic Okay. So ngayon, magbabago tayo ng konti. Since sa ating liyate, known na si logarithmic before the algebra, therefore, we will let u be equal to ln x. At yung ating namang dv is equal to x squared dx. Okay? So ngayon, ang gabi natin ngayon dito is to find uh, the derivative of ln x wherein your du alam naman natin that the derivative of ln x is 1 over x dx 
Tapos, para naman sa integral na to, or the integral of this, that is b, b equal to, by power rule, mag-add tayo ng 1 sa exponent, at ganun din gagawin natin sa denominator. So, it will become x cubed over 3. Again, x cubed over 3. So, paano po naging x cubed over 3? Di ba yung power rule natin? Yung exponent na to is 2. Mag-add tayo ng 1 when it comes to integration. Tapos, kung anong ginawa natin, di ba? What we did is 2 plus 1. So, ganun din gagawin natin sa denominator. That's why we have x cubed over 3. So ngayon, meron tayong u, meron tayong v, at meron na tayong du. We will proceed sa ating integration by parts. Ito yung formula natin. So we have the integral of x squared ln x dx. So pag sinabstitute natin dito yung ating given, wait lang, uh, copy natin na konti para mas mahaba yung ating space. We have x squared ln x dx. Okay. Following the formula, your u is ln x. Tapos yung ating v, which is x cubed over 3. So times x cubed over 3. So nakikita niyo pa ba? And then minus, sa ating formula, may meron tayo minus, the integral of your v, which is x cubed over 3. Tapos meron ka pang du which is 1 over x dx. So, times 1 over x dx. Before tayo mag-perform ng ating integration sa part na to, ah, sige, dito muna tayo. Simplify natin itong part na to. Ln x times x cubed over 3, that is x cubed. Ln x over 3. You can also write this You can also write this as one-third x cubed ln x. Pero ako, sinimplify na natin. x cubed ln x over 3. Minus, dito, before tayo mag-perform ng ating integration by part, ng inti ano, integration, isimplify muna natin ito. Yung ating x cubed, x natin, we can cancel out x. And this one, magiging 2 na lang siya. So it will become the integral of x squared. Ah, sorry. Nabas muna natin ng konti yung ating one-third. Okay? Kung makapansin niyo, meron tayong one-third dito. So, we can put one-third outside the integration symbol. So, it will become the integral of x cubed times 1 over x dx. Wherein, we can cancel out x. Itong x cubed natin magiging x squared na lang. Okay? So, we have here, step by step process tayo. Eh? x cubed ln x over 3 is equal to 1 third. And then for the, this one, ito yung magiging ano siya eh, magiging x squared na lang siya guys. The integral of x squared dx. Pero syempre, skip na natin yan. Wherein, ang mangyari dito since x squared na siya, it will become times x squared plus 1 over 2 plus 1 plus c. And simplify natin to, this is the integral of x squared ln x dx ito ay x cubed ln x over 3 alam naman natin na magiging di ba magiging 3 ito diba? 2 plus 1 is 3 times 3 that is 9 so 9 ang denominator natin para naman sa numerator x squared plus 1 that is x cubed plus c that's why ito yung mismo sagot natin the answer for example number 3 is simply x cubed ln x over 3 minus x cube over 9 plus c. So, I hope na sa first part ng ating video with regards to integration by parts ay natutunan nyo yung step-by-step -step process kung paano ba ito ginagawa at kung paano ba piliin yung letter u. In the next part of this video, sa part 2 natin, I'll be giving you more complicated examples para mas ma-master nyo ang integration by parts. So, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit mo na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!